I've got a couple uh, patio doors that I'm going to take off. I need to take a look at the wheels, look and see if they can be cleaned and adjust it or if I've got to replace them. Now what I have here are several examples of patio door replacement wheels. Now this is the original. I took this out of the door and it is 40 years old. And I looked and I looked and I looked and I got to tell you, I could not find a match for it. So what I'm going to have to do with the original is I'm going to have to clean it up, recondition it, and I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm here at the bottom of the door. Now the screw has fallen out holding it to the frame so I can pull it right out. So here's our wheel assembly and I got to tell you it's corroded, it's rusted, and the parts do not move freely. I'm really struggling here. So I'm going to clean these up and put them back together, lubricate them, and then we'll see what we have. Now let me try to get some of this crud off with a nice stiff brush. Now that I've removed most of the scale, what I'll do is I'll take some steel wool, some fine steel wool, and, and just try to clean it further. Now let me clean the inside of the wheel. So it's all cleaned up. Now notice the screw there. That's the adjusting screw, and right above it, that's where it attaches to the door. Just wanted to point that out to you. Now I've cleaned both parts of the wheel assembly and now I'm just going to put the two pieces back together and make certain that they're going to move freely. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty satisfied. Well, I'm at the bottom of the door now and this is where our wheel assembly goes, right in here. But before I put the wheel assembly in, I'm just going to take this brush and I'm going to clean it, it out as best I can, get all that junk out of there. Now we're going to put the wheel assembly in. Now I had to take off my rubber gloves because they were really cumbersome. Now you just take the wheel, you just snap it right there in a place like that. And now I'm going to take the screw and secure it to the frame. Oh, well, I lost it there. Let me see if I can get that thing back. Okay. Now I'm tightening it to the frame. And now I've moved on to the adjusting screw right below the screw that fixes it to the frame. And I just want to make certain that it's working properly. So it retracts. We'll just raise it again. Let's just make certain that it raises. Raises perfectly. Okay, so it was just gooped up with a whole lot of just 40 years worth of grime. But the wheel works perfectly and the adjusting screw works just as it should. Now comes time to reinstall the patio door. And what I can tell you is this, those doors can be heavy, so if you can get help, get it. Now our door is on the track, but it's got to be centered. That wheel's got to be centered perfectly on the track. So I'm using a hard knife and a screwdriver to lift the door up to center it. There it is. The wheel is perfectly centered, but it is dragging a little bit. So I'm going to use the adjusting screw to lift the door. Now once I have one side lifted, I'll go and use the adjusting screw to lift the other side. Now our door is sliding freely. This is Leah saying you can do this.